Jackson University. Don't forget that. But anyway, I'm back again with another beat breakdown. And this is like a um, like a Justin Timberlake kind of vibe, you guys. And, um, you know, I'm always cutting records constantly because I am always preparing for when labels hit me up looking for tracks or an artist. So this is, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to go over this, okay? We're going to start with uh, uh, this particular um, guitar element. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Oh, and, and, and for the people that, for the cats that be on here messaging me about don't play the drum beat and all that, check this out, man. When you're on my channel, I'm going to do it the way I do it. And if you don't like it, you can go to somebody else's channel. I don't really give a fizzle. But check this out. I'm going to do what I do, what I've been doing, what I've always done. And if anybody is new to my channel and don't know that I've been doing that, it's probably not cool to even say anything. If you don't dig it, go somewhere else. Continue. All right, here we go. Back to this. Yep. All right, we already did that, so we're going to go to the next sound. Drums, for those that say don't, for the, whoever the dude is that be in my bo in my messages talking about, man, don't, don't, don't play the drums, man. Don't even go, go, go to something else. Anyway, kick, kick, kill it, bro. Drums. We on on that. We about this positive energy over here. I will block anybody on that negative-ish. And that's for real. We about all the positive energy over here. So keep all that bullshit that way. All right. That's the drums. Hi-hat. The whole point is to show you what I did so that you, if you want to try to go back and do this same thing, you realize I did it on the MPC. And the way I use the MPC is not like how anybody else uses it. It's kind of like an engineer. When a person engineers, every engineer does not engineer the same. The way I use the MPC, I use it just in a way where it's just like on some steroids kind of thing. And I make it sound a certain way and people wonder what I'm doing. And um, I never really... That's an open hi-hat, you guys. I never really go into details about how I use it, but I've been using it since the 80s, and so I'm like a mad scientist with this machine. I can make it do stuff that you probably don't even realize it can do. You dig? So that's the open hi-hat. And um, this here, let's see what we have here. Yeah, you guys, so here's another kick I put in there. It's just straight forward to the floor. And I'm sure you can hear that. I mean, this kick hits very, very, very hard. Here's a, here's a bass, you guys. Now, I say this track is kind of like a Justin Timberlake real pop radio kind of vibe. Feel what I'm saying? So, like I said, I do a lot of tracks and have them prepared for different labels and artists because I never know when I'm going to get a call. Here's another. This is a tube synth sound that I played. It's called, the sound is called Sweep, Sweep In from Tube Synth, Sweep In. Next, next, you guys, let's see, what's this? Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, you know, using the, the MPC is about challenging your production skills. Challenging your production skills, you guys, I mean, you know, any, any, you hear that? Now, that sounds from Electric Piano. That last sound I did is called Perky Times. But the whole point in doing uh, or using the Akai MPC to me is to is to see what you can do to challenge this machine to make it do things that, that you normally couldn't do. Excuse me. So I work on making the Akai do things that people don't think it could do or making it sound ways that people think maybe that it could not sound, right? So... When people hear the tracks I do in this machine, they're always in shock that you did that on that. Because most people do a lot of trap records on this. 99% of most of the cats on YouTube do mostly trap records. Trap beats and stuff. Me, I, I mean, I'm all over the place. I can do trap. It's easy. You know, my trap stuff doesn't sound like the average trap records. My stuff is like on some other level. Maybe I'll lay a few tracks that you hear. But check this out. 
my thing is to challenge this machine, no matter what you're doing, hip hop, trap, R&B, like make this machine work, man. Make this machine talk. You feel what I'm saying? Make it talk, not, not no mediocre, average kind of stuff. Make this machine do what Rodney Jerkins makes it do. Make this machine do what Dallas Austin has made it do. Make this Akai do what Jermaine Dupri has made it do. And tons of other industry, Babyface, and we can keep going. All the people that use the Akai product, make this machine do what it's supposed to do. Feel what I'm saying? Next sound. Let's see what we got. So, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to keep it real. This is like a, um, a snare with the, um, they flip open the, um, the uh, what do we call that on the snare? You, It's kind of like I got the um, the thing under the drum flipped open. I can, my mind is everywhere. Anyway, uh, it's not a snare that's really tight, but you can hear the net kind of open at the bottom, you can flip it, the drum snare open, and you can hear that net a little bit um, that covers the bottom that tightens it up. For all the drummers like I am, I should know that. You know what I'm talking about. Next sound is a clap. I'm trying to make this quick. I don't want these videos to be long, you guys. And clap. And clap. Bam. Uh. Yep. Next sound, snare. Now, this one sounds similar to that one, but this one's tuned a little bit higher, you guys. It's a third snare I think I put in here. This one's tight, but all together they make this wonderful, just wonderful and magical snare element. You feel what I'm saying? So here we go. Let's see what we got here. The strings. Let me see. Here's strings, you guys. That's all that string plays. Now I'm going to play a little bit of this. This is the whole track all together. And we're going to play. I'll play it, of course, at the end of the video. Okay, that is the track, you guys. But I also have a change that I did in there. It's like a bridge. Let me play a little bit of that so you guys can hear. Here's the change. Second half of the change. And it goes back to the chorus. No, I have another part to that too. Here we go. And it goes back to the chorus. That's it. So check it out at the end of the video, you guys. Stone Paxton University. Stone packs into what NPC connoisseur you guys listen, and I'll check you out on the next video. And I'm out. Oh, by the way, any record labels and any artists looking for music distribution, make sure you click that link at the bottom of my video and go to Brand Artist Coalition. Distribute your music worldwide to 242 territories. Once again, take control of your music. Brand artists, we are the future. Don't forget that. Take control of your music distributed today for sonic value. I put some links to some of my music at the bottom. Check it out. Listen to it. And here we go, you guys. Check this music out at the end of the video. And I'm out. <laughs>